ice cream. Ice cream, Mom, can I? Sure. Ice cream! Don't you need money? I need money! Thank you. Don't run. OK! <sighs> Shelly, you want ice cream? Ice cream! All right. There you go. And no running. And these loafers? Not a chance. I was joking. OK. It was turning out to be the perfect Saturday. The ice cream man had extra napkins. I had tons of homework. And I was about to enjoy an orange sherbet push-up, which was the only kind of push-up I could actually finish. Then it all came crashing down. There's no telling who could buy that house. What if they have dogs? What if they have birds? What if they have both and the birds learn to bark like dogs? Sheldon, you're getting yourself all worked up. For good reason. That house is six feet away from my bedroom window. Who knows what kind of smells could jump the gap? A uh, cigarette smoke? A scented candle? A durian? What's a durian? A vile smelling fruit of the genus Durio. When did you smell that? I haven't. And I'd like to keep it that way. It might be nice. It might be a family with kids your age. I already live with a kid my age, not a fan. What's up? Can I talk to you about serious woman stuff? Of course. Is this a iced tea conversation or a hot tea conversation? Definitely hot. Uh-oh. So what's going on? I think I have a boyfriend. Wow. But you cannot tell mom. Oh, of course. I, I love not telling your mother stuff. So what, what, what's his name? Marcus Adam Larson. He's 11 and a half. He has blonde hair, his favorite color is green, and he's learning how to skateboard. But he's not very good yet. Okay, well, I have to ask now, at your age, having a boyfriend, what does that mean? Do you, uh, go out on dates? No. Um, would, do you hold hands? I wish, but no. So how do you know he's your boyfriend? Because this happened. I didn't realize you had documentation. I know.